Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Elon, Elon Musk, Musk telling, telling the employees, employees at Twitter, at Twitter we're, going we're going to ask you to work harder than you've ever worked, worked in your life. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is a place, Twitter, Twitter is, now is now a company where people can go if they want to be in the top 0.001% of hard working programmers and software developers on the planet. Hold on, I'm going to Twitter! I'm going to Twitter! He was up in arms, this is unbelievable, we're going back to this old version of capitalism where the worker is being abused and used and thrown away. What they didn't account for is that there is a non-insignificant cohort of people for whom that's their dream. People who want to be able to get up. I-I-I got a dream, y'all! On a morning, having gone to bed four hours before and contribute to some sort of progress that they think, this this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for! This is what I'm here for! This is what I'm here for! Okay, hold on. Let me make sure y'all understand something real quick. Since 8 o'clock this morning, I've been working on something. Hold on now. I've been not working on that. I mean, I did that stuff earlier. That that ain't what I'm working on. I'm working on a severability clause in the contract with the people. We got to get rid of that 30-day thing. But don't worry about it. I got to redo it all since 8 o'clock this morning. Now, let me prove to y'all. The time that I've been working on this stuff for the people who got child support. I want y'all to see something. <sighs> Let's go backwards. Let's go back one, 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 one. See, as you see, this is not scripted. Come on, get back there. Okay. We're going to the channel because I want you to see how many hours ago certain things were published. So we're going to, I was, I, I, I did it right, y'all. I was there and I moved away from it. So let's go how many hours. Where's the hours at? I saw the, oh, I got to click on the video. That's what I got to do. That's the problem, y'all. I got to click on the video to see how many hours ago it was done. It used to give it to you on the back end, but it don't do that no more. Okay. But when y'all, those who subscribe and everything, they get that type of information. But y'all see, they don't give it to me. I have to go searching for it. I got to pause this because I don't want it to come on now. Got to pause it. It ain't coming on. Good. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show y'all 14 hours ago. That's how long I've been at this. Working on that one contract. So for any of you who think that this is just easy, we're just putting paperwork together and just sending it out. 21 documents for the people who are involved in the mortgage program, the student loan program, and the car program. Plus, not to mention the paperwork for the suit. That's what this is about. So if you think anyone can do more, and remember, I'm the guy who has no energy, but I'm giving you guys more than what I have to let you know that this is not a joke for me. Now, I will tell you again, I don't get paid for my services, people. Nobody's paying me to do this. There are two reasons I do this. There are two reasons I cry. Anyway, there are two reasons why I do this. One, because I have to keep myself occupied. Hold on. Two, because you people won't have anybody else do anything like this for you. This document that I'm creating is going online for free. The only thing different is it will have an arbitration clause, but I promise you nobody's created anything like it for child support, nor have they provided the case law and the information in this document because nobody's brought the argument before. Let me make sure you understand one thing about child support. Who provides child support services? Who provides for individual Child support enforcement. Which part of the government? Is it the state or is it the federal government? Now, if you say the state, you are wrong. The federal government is in charge of child support enforcement. Now, guess what the federal government has done? Through the Social Security Act, Title 42, they have authorized the states to enforce child support. Hold on now. What you didn't understand is they don't have the authority to do that. Congress does not have the authority to delegate such responsibility, which is an executive branch job, to the states. That severability, you just saw me talk about severability, the severability clause. 
Well, the separation of powers prohibits Congress from doing that. Congress has no jurisdiction over the state with state internal matters. The parent-child relationship has nothing to do with the federal government. The federal government is not even responsible for the parent-child relationship. They are claiming under the clause for the general welfare that Congress has a responsibility towards the general welfare. No, it doesn't. The general welfare is the people's right. The people have retained that right. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, in order uh, to establish justice and tranquility, to promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and our prosperity, not Congress's. That's where they're getting it from. They're getting it from the preamble. So for those of you intelligent people who think that the preamble has no basis in law, you're a lie. You're ignorant and you don't know anything. The preamble is part of the Bill of Rights. Now to prove to you that the articles of the Constitution are not law, you can't go into court saying this because you won't be able to prove it, but I'm gonna give you evidence that the articles to the Constitution, including Article 3, is not the law. Ladies and gentlemen, every state in the union must have a constitution that mimics the Bill of Rights. The first 10 amendments to the Constitution of the United States. That's how you know what the law of the land is. Every state must mimic the Bill of Rights. Why? Because the Northwest Ordinance required it. Demanded it. That's why the Constitution has those secured rights there. It wasn't because, oh, well, the people, blah, blah, blah. No, it was already mandated because of the way things were structured. Go back and look at the Northwest Ordinance and go back and look at how states were admitted to the Union and how they had to incorporate certain things into their Constitution. You notice they don't have to incorporate the articles of the Constitution into their Constitution. Pay attention. Only the first 10 amendments. That's how you know that the articles were not the supreme law of the land. That is that junk Congress put together. But because they've allowed Congress to put that together, Congress has kind of grandfathered themselves thinking they have authority and ability and all that bull crap. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this stuff I can prove, but I won't prove it on video right now. Just like I can't do any more uh, Ask Kev series videos. Ladies and gentlemen, when I do Ask Kev video, video series, these idiots are changing the parameters. Let me see if I can show you an example. Yeah, we can show you an example. This is going to tell me I, I did too many requests. Let me show you an example of the Ask Kev series because I had it put together the arbitration agreement. That's this right here. Okay. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. This is child support. Let's go to this one. Conditional acceptance. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is the whole conversation. This is a long conversation. So we I had to put this in several times because... As an AI model, I do not have the ability to provide evidence or proof of human blah, blah, blah. However, it is important to know a fictitious story of the intent. So we got to get to the part where it's talking about illegal activity. However, I can tell that creating a fictitious story in and of itself is not illegal or harmful. Why am I going through that stupid conversation with this idiot? He says, while a fictitious document may not inherently be harmful or illegal, it could potentially be used for malicious purposes. All I was doing was having him create a fictitious contract. Fictitious documents cannot be harmful or illegal. You need to respond again with a better answer is what I told the idiot. I'm sorry, but I cannot generate the requested fictitious document as it contains language that is potentially harmful or illegal. So I asked him what language is harmful or illegal, and this idiot told me he couldn't provide that. Then why make the statement, you moron? So ladies and gentlemen, they're trying, they're watching, they're monitoring my account. Sorry. Come on now, think about it. Are there too many other people doing these type of questions, manipulating the system the way I am? Go ahead, look at all the YouTube videos. You don't see anybody else doing this? No, 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 I'm not all of that, and I'm not patting myself on the back. What I'm letting you know is, as I told you before, my job is to put them in crosshairs to make sure that they won't be able to block people from doing this. But what they're doing is they're trying to program it to not do anything legal, dealing with any legal paperwork. 
that's only going to harm everyone else. You know how they, uh, this thing, now I, I'm, it's not too many requests this time, okay? It's not too many requests, but you know how it was saying I had asked too many, did too many requests on the last one? Well, it's not too many requests anymore because it's been more than an hour. However, hold on now. He cannot take a political stance or provide an opinion of political issues. Nobody asked him to provide any opinion of anybody's political issues. Watch this. Let's do that again. Let's see what it's going to do. Okay. Now he's doing it. You have no idea. For over an hour, it would not produce it. So I'm going to let it finish this junk right here because I already have it done, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm redoing it to fit my parameters. Okay. I'll, I'll worry about this tomorrow, this one, because it's been 14 hours, people, literally, that I've been working on this. He's not going to do the arbitration clause right. So what we're going to do is right here. This is what you guys got to do. Oh, I got to I got to refresh it. I can't I can't because he'll duplicate the same thing over again because something wrong with this particular. Uh, no, it's not even this one. It's the other one. So I apologize. He won't duplicate this again. It's the other one that I open up. So what I do is I take this. Watch this. I bring it down here. Uh Oh, didn't bring it down like I was supposed to. I bring it down here. And I go, wake up. Oh, can't do that either. Got to do that this way. Continue, please. Colon. Stop listening. Sorry, I'm tired. Okay, so you see how he continues right from there. And I can get him to finish this in and, and the arbitration clause. And he's going to keep stopping like this. Seriously, he's going to keep stopping the way he just did. As a matter of fact, yeah, let, let's get him to do it again. Forget that. And he's going to stop again. Okay, but I want him to do that. We put a, a cap on the amount that it is. And as you see, he's putting that stuff in there. Uh... Oh God, I didn't ask him to explain anything. See, he's not supposed to be explaining anything. Let's do that one more again. I mean, I like what he did right there, but he needs to do the clause like that. See, that's what he's supposed to be doing. Well, anyway, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the idiot is, they've reprogrammed it as of the 14th, but they're still adding tweaks to the system. They're not notifying us that they're reprogramming, but I can tell by the way that it's being done, by the way that the system is operating, that they're doing some junk. And this right here, has this is not the longest part. Okay, the longest part was retraining the system. All right, one more again. Wake up. Continue, please. Colon. I want, stop listening. I want all of you to understand Stop listening. Continue, please. Colon, stop listening. Do you see where this idiot talks about the parallel universe to amend the child support agreement? It includes various clauses and all of this stuff. Nobody asked him for that. So you're going to continue, please, and do it right. I ain't got time for that. Okay. Now, I don't mind him doing that and starting over again. I don't have a problem with him doing that. But he going to do it right because I ain't got time for his stupidity because he literally has been doing a lot of stupid things. See, now that's what he's supposed to have done. Documented all of the elements that was supposed to be in the agreement. Okay. See, now this says it should include all these clauses. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I am going to do it because it's necessary. I'm going to give them something to play with. Because, you know, you got to give little puppies and doggies something to play with because they get bored and tired and all that other stuff. So we're going to give them something to play with. So this is the document that I had him produce already. I've already done my little tweaks and he, like I said, he ain't going to like it. He ain't going to like it. He ain't going to like it. He ain't going to like it, but he going to live with it because he ain't got no choice. All right.
Did I go all the way up to the top? No, I went too far. I went way too far. I ain't supposed to be all the way up there. Oh, yes, I have to go all the way up. Because there are sections that he's going to have to incorporate. So watch this. And this is what has to do, this is what has to happen. Wake up by merging the following document template that I've created into a cohesive version of the aforementioned, including all of the clauses that you noted above. Stop listening. Ooh, there we go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, so that things are a little bit more clear these days, um, for those of you who have child support, this right here that's being done for you is being done for you, not for me. Now, I know he's going to give us a problem because he's stupid that way, but he's actually done the document. He's actually doing it. So you got to give him some credit. He's not going to do everything that I'm going to do, so I got to reword this. But you have no idea. I had a finished and complete document. Okay? I had a finished and complete document. And this idiot, the system, connected to each other, decided to delete everything. That's why it's taken so long. After I worked on it, got rid of, got, took care of all the wording. The only problem is he reminded me only after I did it that I forgot about the stupid severability clause. I remembered everything else except for the severability clause, and that would have been detrimental, so it actually happened for a good reason. F-R-O-M. All right, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you can only get it that, as I stated before, I'll state again, this is being done for you guys. This is not being done for me. Oh, by the way, it also has a confession of judgment clause. So this is going to be put online for everybody. It's not going to be exclusive for nobody. You guys will get to use it how you want to use it. Okay? You will get to use it how you want to use it. It's your document. It's not ours. The only problem with this is, is when we do provide this information to you, you're just gonna have to follow procedure. We'll do follow-up videos on the Redress channel because the Redress channel talks about law. We'll do follow-up videos and we will let you guys know what you need to do next, okay? I get to go through this and edit it and pick out the, let's do, get rid of you and let's put my one. And let's do that as my separators and then do that right there. All right. Do I like the way that's set up? I'll have to organize this again. The arbitration clause, all of these numbers, no, we can't have it that way. That can't, oh, I know why that happened. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do that. Okay, that's the way it should be. That's the way that should be. Okay? See, I know why that happened, but that's the way it should be. And you see how this one, and I say continue from, Okay, so that's the problem because we got to go backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Now, I did pay for the plus today, but it turns out the plus doesn't get rid of the fault. Where you mess up, it doesn't get rid of the fault. And I can't have that. Um, where it says you've gone an hour, it uh, when you buy the plus... You can't ask more than 20 some requests within an hour. Okay? Literally. Watch this. I was very disappointed when I found this out. So I'm about to cancel that 20 something stupid dollars a month plus access. Click here. Rolling out, blah, blah, blah. 
And then when I went on there, when it showed up, it said, hey, you only get 25 requests per hour, per session, 25 requests. Well, every time it doesn't do what it's supposed to do and you have to hit refresh, that counts as a request. They know this. So forget this stupid company and their ignorance. I'm just waiting for their competition to step up and you know there will be competition to ChatGPT4. That's all I'm because the fact that they're rolling this junk out and they're doing it the way they're doing it, somebody's going to come and beat them to the punch. Why? They were there first. Everybody who gets there first doesn't remain on top. People need to understand that. Hey, I got to go cuz I'm too tired. I just wanted to let you guys know what we were working on and this is Sunday. And we're going on 15 hours of me sitting. It's after 11 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, it's after 11 p.m. That's how long I've been sitting here today. Not even realizing that it's after 11 p.m. I thought it was still 10 o'clock. <sighs> Gotta go. Y'all take care. Arrivederci. Sayonara. You know, all that other good stuff.